Soon, starlight will scatter through the dark. So let's all look up at Stargazing Park. This way. Hello, stargazers. We've had a fantastic week here at Stargazing Park, spotting wonderful things in the night sky. Well, we've got one more chance to do that tonight. So have you got everything you need, stargazers? Yeah. Brilliant. I hope you have too. Come on, all together. Here we go. Look up. Falls. Maggie helps us see wonders of the stars above us all. Turn the lights low, grab a cozy rug, wrap up warm and snug. Here we go. We're going stargazing. Gaze at stars shining bright. We're going stargazing. Spot a zooming satellite. We're going stargazing. Glimpse the moon and the planets above. We're going stargazing. So just look up, look up, look up. Come and join us underneath the stars. Hi, Chris. Hi, stargazers. Hello, Maggie. Welcome to the stargazing park. Now, what can we see up there? I'm not seeing very many stars at the moment, but perhaps if we turn the lights down low... That's better. And let our eyes get used to the dark. And the more we look, the more we'll see. After a while, you can see them, can't you? It takes a while for your eyes to get used to the dark. So now, let's try and make some star patterns, because I can see three stars. One, two, three. What shape does that make? A triangle. That's right, a triangle. Now, I wonder who else is looking up and making patterns with the stars tonight? It's Jim. Hello, stargazers. We're trying to spot seven stars that make a pattern called the plough, aren't we? Yeah! Now, the plough is made up of seven stars that sparkle like jewels in the sky. So let's see if we can spot it. Can you see it? It's a bit cloudy. And, and it's a bit orange. There are quite a lot of lights around here, aren't they? Well, we'll keep looking because we might see it soon. And we went on a treasure hunt earlier to find some jewels. So join us again later to find out how we got on. I wonder if Jem used a treasure map on her treasure hunt. Well, on the CBeebies website, you can find some maps. They're star maps. Look at this. Here, on this star map, we can see the plough. But we can also see it up there. Can everybody see the plough? Can you count the stars for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the plough. Why is it called the plough? That is a very good question, Imogen. Why is it called the plough? I think we should best answer that in the Star Cafe. OK. Let's go in. So why don't we have a look at these pictures? Does anyone know what this is? A saucepan. A saucepan, yes. OK, I've got another picture here. See if you can guess what this one is. A spoon. And then I've got this picture. A plough. A plough. Does anyone know what a plough is used for? Oh, Oliver, what do you think um, it's used for? It's used for planting seeds. It goes along before the planter to make the ground more easier to plant. So each of the pictures has seven stars, and the pattern of the stars is exactly the same, but people have seen different pictures. Well, maybe the seven stars that make up the plough could also be this. What do you think I've drawn here using those seven stars, Oliver? Um, a fishing boat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guessed my drawing. <laughs> yes, it's a fishing boat. It's actually out on the seven seas searching for treasure. And I wonder how Jem and her stargazers are getting on on their treasure hunt. Ahoy there, stargazers. Welcome aboard. Ahoy! Good to see you. Hey, look, 
I've got a treasure map here. So, how do you fancy coming on a treasure hunt with me? Yeah! Yeah, OK. Now, the map here shows lots of different stars, and that's where the treasure is hiding. So, how many stars can you see? Seven! Seven. Seven. Should we just count them just to check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, you're right. Well done. So, where do you think all of these stars are hiding? Around the docks. Around the docks, so we need to go and find them all. Do you think we can do it? Yeah! Yeah, OK, well, let's roll up our treasure map because we're going to need that. And off we go, let's go. Let's go. So, the first spot is this one here. So, Thomas, can you see it anywhere? Brilliant, grab it, let's go. Brilliant, come on! And now we have all seven of the jewels. Let's take them back to the ship. Follow me. <laughs> wow, they look great. But the treasure doesn't sparkle. So how do you think we can make it twinkle? Look for a clue. <gasps> Good idea, Kika. OK, let's have a look. What? Oh, maybe this is something on the back of the treasure map. <gasps> there is. There's something written here. Ah, oh, right, OK. Nathan, can you read it out for me? Make the shape of a saucepan with a handle to see the treasure twinkle bright and sparkle. Brilliant. OK, so we need to find a saucepan. So, Nathan, can you have a look in that crate for me? There we go. That's it. Brilliant. We need to put our jewels in a shape like this. Kika, <coughs> do you think you can put all these jewels into a saucepan shape for us? Yes. Come on, then. Let's see. So there's the first one. That's it. Pop it there. Good. And the third one on the end. Wow, they're twinkling. Now, this shape is called the plough, and when you look up into the night sky, you might see it there looking like a big saucepan. Hang on a second. I think there might be another clue on the back of this treasure map. Should we have a look? OK, Thomas, can you hold this up for me, please? Thank you. Let's see. Oh, there is another clue. Kika, do you think you could read this one out for us, please? Thank you. How is it two stars away from the handle to find the North Star with the brightest sparkle? Oh, great. Thank you two very much. So now we can find another star. So it said to follow the two stars furthest away from the handle. So that's these two stars here. If we follow them in a straight line, Thomas, that would lead over there. So do you think you can walk in that direction for me, see if you can find another star? Do you want to go and have a look? That's it. Oh, there's a big barrel and... <gasps> what have you found inside? Treasure. Yeah, excellent. Can you bring it back for us? Let's have a look. <gasps> Brilliant, we found the North Star. Well done. Now, the North Star is a very important star in the sky because it always points north and it helps sailors to steer their boats in the right direction. Well, Stargazers, thank you so much for helping me find all of this lovely treasure. And we found the North Star and the Twinkling Plough. Well, we found a Twinkling Plough too. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can use the plough to find the North Star. Do you know how to do that, Safiet? You use that one and that one. Then go straight up. All the way up to the North Star. Thank you. Let's see if we can spot the North Star. To find the North Star, we need to find the plough. Oh, there it is. Now we just have to follow the imaginary line north to find that North Star. There it is. We found it through the window. I can see the North Star out of my igloo window. I'm in a place called Lapland, which is very near the North Pole, and the North Star is right above my head. Oh, while I'm here, I'm hoping to be really lucky and to see something incredibly special in the night sky. The Northern Lights. 
The northern lights are caused by the sun. People travel from all over the world just to see them. They look amazing. Oh, I hope I'm really lucky and get to see them tonight. Didn't the northern lights look beautiful? We've seen so many beautiful things in the night sky this week. Planets, the moon, and lots and lots of stars. Well, now it's time to get cosy for one last starlight story. Starlight scattered through the dark Painting stories for us all Gather underneath the stars And hear their wonders told Looking up into the dark The night is yours and it is mine Looking up into the dark The dark upon us all Upon us all the stars will shine Upon us all the stars will shine Everybody, look up! Because I wonder whose story the stars are going to tell tonight. Ursa Major, the Great Bear Ursa Major, the Great Bear, wished to go on holiday. A holiday in the sun, far away from the snow and ice, far from his home under the northern lights. So off he set with his caravan towards the sun to get a tan. But the bear found sunbathing rather tricky. It was ever so hot and ever so sticky. Even splashing in the swimming pool couldn't keep the great bear cool. He missed rolling in the snow and ice. He wished to be home under the northern lights. Now the great bear had travelled far, he needed help from the northern star, leading him onwards to the snow and ice, safely back home under the northern lights. How very helpful the North Star was leading the Great Bear home. Well, soon it'll be time for us to go home and leave Stargazing Park. But we've got to say a very special thank you to Maggie for a great week of stargazing. Thank you very much. And stargazers, thank you. It's been wonderful. And remember, keep watching the stars. Before we go, get your stars twinkling. Can you do that for me? And let's get up and have a dance. Join in too. Come on, stargazers. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Well done, stargazers. Good twinkling. <laughs> Bye. Bye.